Hi everyone, I'm John Page and I'm in the mood for whimsical. So uh, the other day I made this uh, butterflies. I, it started with something simple like this, then I played with it with Photoshop and here it is. I am going to put a link below in the description box for this. So if you want to make uh, butterflies from this, you can. And that's what I made and I want to give them a home in my art journal. So I only just colored them with a uh, highlighters, the ones that are in any back to school and office supply, just uh, with highlighters. And I will show you just so you will see like this ones. So and then I took some a uh, black permanent marker and just doodled so you can really play with it and do whatever you want and make it your own uh, design so these are my butterflies that I'm going to move uh, now to the side and this will have a link below if you want to do them now uh, I'm working in this art journal which is just a um, sketchbook so I prepared my uh, page with gesso so I, the paint that I am going to put now won't sip into the paper immediately. I want it. Uh, I want to be able to move it. So I've picked uh, three colors. I've got here some turquoise and spa blue and cool blue. It really doesn't matter. I'm just going to put some randomly on the page. Not sure if I have just a little bit and it's quite finished. And another one. Really don't care. It's quite random and I'm just going to use a wet baby wipe and start covering the page. Now I'm just going diagonally, but you don't have to. It's just easier for me. And if I feel that I need more color in some place, I'm going back. But ultimately it's quite random and I'm just making sure that my page is covered. Here we go a really easy start for a background. So I'm going to let this dry and I'll be back. I'm back. So now I want to add some interest and visual texture to my background. I picked this a uh, stamp set. Now you don't have to have something like this. You can have, you can use whatever you like. It can be flowers, uh, leaves, it can be letters, numbers, or you can make marks like just take bubble wrap and go all over but I'm a this time I'm using this and I've got here some a uh, archival ink a uh, Viridian and I've got Versacolor a uh, turquoise I hope they will show although I don't want them to steal <laughs> uh, the focus from what is going to be uh, on top I'm uh, taking this spiral uh, stamp and again going to do it to stamp it all over and quite randomly it needs to be part of the background I don't want it to overwhelm the page okay switching oops it doesn't want to get off the acetate never mind let's see if I can 
work it yeah looks a little bit under the sea <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it wasn't my intention, but never mind. Still part of the background, so all's well. Yeah. And I'm thinking that I really like some script or text in the background. So, and I haven't took anything from my stamps it just now came to me that I want something with text in the background let's see okay found something I don't know again how much of it will show I need an acrylic block too big let's try this one and I'm going back to the archival ink I'm hoping eh. it almost doesn't show but it's good enough for adding interest okay so I need a home for my butterflies and I wanted some whimsical, uh, I don't know, flowers, weed, <laughs> flora, whatever, in the background. So what I figured out uh, that I will do some stems just with some marker and again I'm trying to be light about it. I don't, I want the focus to be on my butterflies. So I'm going to start with this highlighter and we'll see how it shows. Mm, good enough. So I'm going to do all kinds like this. Again, this is quite random, very free not planned and I want to do some whimsical I don't know how to call it flowers <laughs> whatever so I've got all this uh, painty papers I'm going to put a link below again this one we've done with just scraping pa uh, paint on paper so I'm going to use this and I'm going to use some punches and let's see what color do I want here? Again, it needs to be subtle. I think maybe, let's see. Maybe it's too subtle. <laughs> I don't know, let's see and I will punch another one it's giving me trouble yeah maybe something like this with more a uh, neon in the color I think something like this uh, this punch is it doesn't say I think it's like one centimeter or one and a half centimeter really doesn't matter you can also just cut by hand circles and let's see maybe this color will work also although it's a little bit more darker so I don't know Let's see, does it work? 
Yes, it works with the butterflies. So I need to uh, punch a lot more circles and I'll be back. Okay, so I've got this and I want to add a little bit detail uh, to this. I'm just going to use this a uh, kind of, I don't know what to call it, this kind <laughs> of ruler with a uh, the shapes, the circles, and I'm just going and adding a fine line, a black fine line, almost just so it would uh, be w one with this. Now, again, I'm not uh, going to add a lot of details like here because I don't want it to be uh, overwhelming. Uh, the mo main point is the butterflies, so I'm just doing a really fine line like this over the circles and I'm thinking just maybe some circles like this just for added detail maybe I will even add some color inside the the little circles that I just made by hand. Not sure. So I've got some work to do here to go all over the circles and I'm quite, I don't know what's going on, I'm quite wonky <laughs> with the circles. They are not perfect but never mind. Maybe it's the glue underneath, I don't know. Whatever. So, I'm going to continue doing this and I'll be back. I'm back. So, as I was going with the ruler, I decided that I like the wonky color uh, <laughs> lines and I just went with the marker just like this and I feel it's a little bit more interesting and I also added a line where the stem was with just the highlighter like this and then I took a white uh, pen now uh, I really love this after struggling with all kinds of acrylic uh, markers I found that this uh, works for me. This is uh, the Uniball Signal uh, UM153 and I don't know what the tip is. I bought it through Amazon and it's just great. Really works well. I don't need to pump anything. I don't need to shake uh, like the other uh, acrylic uh, markers and the flow is really good so that that's what i have here <laughs> i can even leave the page as is i really like it but i'm still going to add the butterflies I ju i'm just waiting for the white of the pen to dry and then i'm going to place start a uh, playing with the placement of my butterflies and then i'll be back Okay, so I was already uh, prepared to put the whole swarms butterflies on my page, but it's just too much, so it's only this three. I really like them and all this whimsical page, it really makes me happy. <laughs> so I'm going, as I said, I'm going to leave a link below to this so you can save and print, and I'm going to leave a link below to the, the video how to make these papers with scraping paint and i hope you liked it and i hope you have fun making something whimsical so thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now